to this video. In the last episode, we have presented the assembling components as part of the Soundfounder Q250 and its flying process for you. It is designed for the hobbies for FPV flying. You may be eager to know how to make it. Well, in the following episodes, I will take you to the flying of assembling, debugging, and flying the Soundfounder Q250. First, in this episode, we will learn how to solder the power line, the electronic speed controller, and how to assemble the frame. And you can see that these are the components and parts we are going to use. Now, let's start our assembly. You can see that this is the bottom board. There are some anodes and cathodes on the board. This is the Hobby 15 Ampere Electronic Spin Controller. It converts direct current into the three-phase automatic current to supply power for the motor. Made of original components and parts, it can bear high current. It can also protect from low voltage, high voltage, and overheat. It supports all kinds of flight control. Next, we are going to solder the power lines of electronic speed controllers to the bottom board. First, apply enough soldering tin onto the pads with an electronic soldering arm. Solder the right power line into the path corresponding to the anode. And the black one to the pad corresponding to the cathode. And then sew the other power lines in the same way. After soldering all the power lines, use the middle part of the tether to nip the banana plant female bullet. And then sew the soldering tin into the banana plant female bullet. Then solder one of the three-phase power lines into the banana plug female bullet. Pay attention not to touch the banana plug female bullet until it cools down. After soldering, cover the banana plug female bullet with the heat shrink tubing. Get the electronic soldering arm close to the heat shrink tubing. Rotate the heat shrink tubing for several times until it is shrunken. Do with other heat shrink tubings in the same way. Turn over the bottom board. Pay attention to the anode and the cathode. Apply enough soldering tin onto the pads with the arm. And sew the right adapter cable into the pad corresponding to the anode. And the black one to the pad corresponding to the cathode. Next, we are going to sew the power lines of the EVEC to the bottom board. First, apply enough soldering tin onto the pads with the arm. Sew the right power line into the pad corresponding to the anode. And 
is the black one into the path corresponding to the castle. After that, we are going to install the arms onto the board. First, install a right arm onto the number one position. And fasten the arm and the board with the M2.5 screws. Pay attention not to use too much force in case of any damage. Install another right arm onto the number 2 position and fasten them with the M2.5 screws. Install a white arm onto the number 3 position. And another white arm onto the number 4 position. Please be careful that the slot on the central axis of the bottom board should point to the direction of the head of the aircraft. It is used for installing the camera. Place the upper board on the frame with the slot on it pointed to the direction of the head of the aircraft. And fasten the arms and the upper board with the M2.5 screws. Now we have finished all the soldering and the installing in this episode. See you in the next episode.